Voices in the Park by Anthony Brown First Voice It was time to take Victoria, our pedigree Labrador, and Charles, our son, for a walk. When we arrived at the park, I let Victoria off her lead. Immediately, some scruffy mongrel appeared and started bothering her. I shooed it off, but the horrible thing chased her all over the park. I ordered it to go away, but it took no notice of me whatsoever. Sit, I said to Charles. Here. I was just planning what we should have to eat that evening when I saw Charles had disappeared. Oh dear, where had he gone? You get some frightful types in the park these days. I called his name for what seemed like an age. Then I saw him talking to a very rough-looking child. Charles, come here at once, I said. And come here, please, Victoria. We walked home in silence. Second voice. I needed to get out of the house, so me and Smudge took the dog to the park. He loves it there. I wish I had half the energy he's got. I settled on a bench and looked through the paper for a job. I know it's a waste of time really, but you've got to have a bit of hope, haven't you? Then it was time to go. Smudge cheered me up. She chatted happily to me all the way home. Third voice. I was at home on my own again. It's so boring. Then Mummy said that it was time for our walk. There was a very friendly dog in the park and Victoria was having a great time. I wished I was. Do you want to come on the slide? A voice asked. It was a girl, unfortunately. But I went anyway. She was brilliant on the slide. She went really fast. I was amazed. The two dogs raced round like old friends. The girl took off her coat and swung on the climbing frame, so I did the same. I'm good at climbing trees, so I showed her how to do it. She told me her name was Smudge. A funny name, I know. But she's quite nice. Then Mummy caught us talking together and I had to go home. Maybe Smudge will be there next time. Fourth voice. Dad had been really fed up, so I was pleased when he said we could take Albert to the park. Albert's always in such a hurry to be let off his lead. He went straight up to this lovely dog and sniffed its bum. <laughs> he always does that. Of course, the other dog didn't mind, but its owner was really angry, the silly twit. I got talking to this boy. I thought he was a bit of a wimp at first, but he's okay. We played on the seesaw and he didn't say much, but later on he was a bit more friendly. We both burst out laughing when we saw Albert having a swim. Then we all played on the bandstand and I felt really, really happy. Charlie picked a flower and gave it to me. Then his mum called him and he had to go. He looks sad. When I got home, I put the flour in some water and made Dad a nice cup of tea. Fifth 